M zero FXB, welcome to my channel. We're doing some firmware updates on the Anytone eight seven eight Mark II Plus. So I haven't done mine since firmware version two point oh one B. So there's been a lot of changes. If you look here, two oh one B, there's quite a long list of stuff here. Um, mm, yeah, you'll have to read it because it's just too much to read. But look at the next bit, two point oh two. I mean that is a lot of changes. So um yeah, so they obviously been looking at this radio a lot to uh and getting feedback from users to do s such a big firmware change. And then further up look 2.03 There's a load more stuff here which I will read. There's APRS stuff, just loads of stuff. And then the latest one is actually a smaller list of items, which is 2.04. So I think it's well worth doing this firmware update. So the first thing you want to do is go to any tone site. Now I've got Broadcom, Bridgecom here. And they're very good, but I've gone straight to any tone and I put the link in the description. Click this file like so and download the zip which I've done there's lots in the you know, there's, there's loads of stuff in this zip so let's extract it to somewhere we can find it on our desktop my desktop is full of stuff but anyway we're gonna go desktop and we've got a file here called any tone we'll click OK right once the thing to remember is to make sure you've got your USB driver installed first and I'll put a link in for this. We've got the radio as you can see connected to the PC already and turned on and we haven't got it into firmware mode yet but we will. First thing we're going to do is fire up the existing CPS that we have which is here um, and then what I would do is once you set your com, how do you find your com? You go right click device manager and if your cables connected and you've already got the driver I mean it might find it automatically Windows 10 it's it will say GD2 GD32 virtual com okay number five here we've got number five ignore this blue two stuff so and then we go up here set set com number five here at the top click OK and then we can go click read from radio just to make sure we've we've got backup of the what's on the actual radio already and once you've read it click save and then save it to a file it will automatically you know give you an, a file option so you save the backup if it all goes wrong you've got that so the next thing we want to do is uh, load the firmware so we'll go tool Firmware update, where's it gone? Firmware and icon update. Open file. Now we I put it in my desktop under any tone. So we go desktop, double click any tone. And we are we're doing 2.04, remember? So we've got quite a few folders here, 2.04. And have you noticed here? There's the seat. There's the programming software because once you've upgraded it, the firmware on the 8782V uh, Plus, you're going to be using the newer CPS, and that seems to be always the case when you update. So double click here, and then there's the file there. 2.04202 blah blah blah. So there's your file. Double click that, and it will put it put it into this box. Ready? File open. Succeed. Click OK. Once you've done that, we're going to click right and watch the radio as well. So click right. OK. Right, it's saying that we haven't selected the correct, correct COM port, so we'll try again. So we'll go, just cancel that out a minute. We'll go, let's exit a minute. Let's just double check. Set to COM. Fine. Three, five, that's 15, let's click OK, and then we'll just right click device manager. I know what I haven't done, silly me. And it's it's good actually to, that I've made this mistake because it will tell you that 
uh, to remember. So we need to put it into firmware mode. So you hold down the PTT and the top green button. We'll do that now. So we'll turn it off. We'll hold down the PTT and green button. Try and turn it on. Okay. When it's in firmware mode, it will be flashing. The red light will be flashing. So now, do it again. So tool, firmware. Uh, it's, it's kept the file in there, I think. Oh, let's just double check. Open file, double click. Okay, and then we'll click right. Okay. Right, that's working. Then the radio just goes black. Shouldn't take too long. But um, as I said, this is quite a big firmware update. But I, I've, I've always felt since I got the Anytone Mark II that it was it just didn't feel like it 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 ran smoothly. Um, whether this the change, I mean, it looks like there's 50 changes, which I'll sit down and read carefully, and I'll I'll add the link for the firmware and all the files so you can have a good read yourself. But we like to keep our radios up to date. Interestingly, they've also updated the Anytone 868 as well. And that's an older model. And they've ha they have done that. So I'm guessing they've also updated the normal Anytone 878. We'll do a separate video on that. So I'm doing this live. You can fast forward it. There are, there are some instructions. I think you have to reset this radio now. That's why you save the uh, the previous code plug. Okay. Write complete. The firmware's done. Click exit because we're not doing the GPS test. So we are up to date with the firmware now. So what, there you go. It's all fired up. Good. So what we're going to do is have a quick read of the they're ask of the there's a process to reset the radio uh, does it say it at the end here no, it's not showing it there right so firmware update there's your there's your process I'll put all these links in the description right so initial here it is here so reboot the MCU. So you need to do this for the firmware to take. So power off the radio while holding down the PTT and the PF1 bar and the PF1 button. Um, at the same time, power the radio on. So right. So we've turned the radio off and the PF one button is the button underneath the PTT so you have gotta push that and the normal PTT and then turn the radio on exit the test maybe we didn't do it right let's do it again Yeah, we just have to hold our fingers in a bit harder. And then you get to this screen here. Are you sure you want to initialize? Just click confirm. Sorry, it's not the clearest picture. There you go, booting. So it, I'll just, I'm not going to put the time in now. Just confirm for now. So... We have to reload the programming software or the saved file using the new CPS, but let's just check the firmware version. We'll go menu. Let's go to settings, device info. And there it is there, firmware version 2.04. So it's there. So we go back, and then what we'll do, we'll, we'll run the, the new CPS, if we can find the file. Right, gone back to the file that we uploaded, double click the where it says CPS, run setup. Click yes. Okay. 
next. How many? It will look the same. Let's go like so. Let's put it here. Okay. I just selected my C drive. Create an icon. Next. Finish and launch. So then we just go file, open. We're looking for that one that we saved. Desktop, any tone, that's the one there. I call it new 878. And it will load up what you had before, basically. And then right click, get the device manager. It was number five, wasn't it? Just check. There you go, number five, and then we'll go set, set com five, click OK, and write to radio. And that's it, then uh, everything on the radio will be as it was before, and it's writing now. And you have the latest firmware. Sorry if the image was a bit blurry, but the process is there. I'll put the link in for the USB driver as well and for all the firmware and all the files that you get from Anytone. Uh, thanks for watching my channel. If you find this helpful, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I think we'll be doing the 868 next. Although I haven't got the 868 anymore. Same booting, click exit. And I haven't put, I put my personal picture backing and all that in a second. And there you go, everything's there that I had before. Sub-channel on. Menu. Look at it again. Settings. Device info. There you go, firmware 2.04. Thanks for watching, 7.3, all the best.